It is all the rage to have a terrace at your gallery. All the cool kids have it. And we are at the Whitney. We are checking out the Jasper John show. And the Whitney is saying they've had a relationship with Johns for a while. You can read it here. I'll scroll pretty quick to see your reading skills. See how many people can read that. This is the intro here. So you're introduced to a, a body of his work here to get you in the mood, show you some of his uh, ideas and concepts. And this show is called Jasper John's Mind Mirror. Here is the intro for you guys that like to read this stuff when you walk in. And we'll see who can get through it. Let me know in the comments below who read this. All right, here is the uh, intro here to his work. Give you an overview before we step in. And let's go and let's see what the first work is. Let's go. Here we go. The first work that we are confronted with is a target. Very nice. Nice representation here. When is it a target and when is it a painting? Or when does one thing become something else? There is a subdued target underneath it also in white there. And here's another nice target subdued in all white. So you can see it's kind of hidden there. All right, so let's go through this exhibit here and see what we got. This show is packed. It is mobbed here. And the Whitney is saying that uh, Jasper John's Mind Mirror is the most comprehensive retrospective ever devoted to John's art, featuring his most iconic works along with many others shown for the first time. It comprises a broad range of paintings, drawings, prints, and sculptures from 1954 to today across two sites. Conceived as a whole, but displayed in two distinct parts, the exhibition appears simultaneously here at the Whitney and at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, two institutions with which Johns has had long-standing relationships. This unique dual structure draws on the artist's lifelong fascination with mirroring and doubles, so that each half of the exhibition echoes and reflects the other. Organized in largely chronological order, the retrospective presents pairs of related galleries one in each city, that offer varied perspectives on the artist's turns of mind. Individually, each gallery focuses on a particular aspect of John's thought and work. Through the lens of different themes, processes, images, mediums, and even emotional states. Taken together, they provide an immersive exploration of the many phases, treasures, and mysteries of a radical, enduring, and still evolving career. All right, I read the general synopsis of the entire show. But that last scrolling uh, synopsis there, Disappearance and Negation, was this first section of his work. That is the theme of the first works here. So let me know how many of you guys just read that uh, scroll. I went, went pretty quick. Let me know in the comments below how many of you guys read that, how many speed readers we have out there. But he's got a lot of works here. Like it said, it's a, a career-spanning uh, retrospective here. So I'm going to try to go pretty quick. Even though you might have some favorite works, I'm just trying to give them all kind of equal time and trying to cover each work here. So maybe I'll let you hear the ambiance of the museum. I don't want to continue talking. And maybe I'll play a little music or whatnot as we walk through. And I hope you guys enjoy the show. Let's go through here and see what uh, they have for us.
So many great pieces here, all the uh, maps and the uh, flags and the targets. Uh, it's so it's so iconic, but like so like folky. And he's such a crowd pleaser. He's really packing them in here. Uh, and it's really entertaining and witty to look at. And I'm so glad I got this. He's like two of my favorites. I got Jasper Johns and I got Rauschenberg. He's coming up. I have another video coming up of him. Two of my favorites. You know, just look, look how classic this is. It's very concept conceptual, but very, like, folky and uh, kind of witty and playful at the same time. But this is, like, a greatest hits. Like, everything you're looking at is, like, uh, pretty well known. Like, he's got a lot of great works. And here are the maps. At what point are you reading? And at what point are you looking at art? You know, when you see words, what's the difference between reading and looking at art? And when is it different?
this is an actual sketch by uh, Marcel Duchamp for his large glass, uh, one of his big works. And I guess because of his influence on Jasper Johns and Rauschenberg um, that he supposedly had on them with uh, his conceptual art. Um, if you ever want to see Duchamp's works, he, he didn't make a lot of stuff, but the Philadelphia Museum replicated all of them, and they're in one room. You go down to Philadelphia. I went, a couple of years ago, I went down there, and I saw all of his works in one space. I mean, it's pretty awesome. I think it's still there. I'm not quite sure, but uh, you can see all of his works, and you can see the large glass. The large glass is there. Um, I think it was damaged in shipping, but I don't think the replica is damaged. I'm not sure, because it would be impossible to, which was the point of him leaving it damaged but it's pretty cool to go out and see all of his works um it's great right jasper johns has all these spoons and hangers and things coming off the canvas or off the wall um more of the uh letters and the words and spelling and reading like when are you reading and when are you when is it reading and when is it looking at a, a piece of uh, artwork i haven't seen his stuff you know live in a while and it's great to see all this in one space. It's pretty awesome. I was recently reading that uh, Jasper Johns had read a lot of uh, philosophy. And uh, particularly, he liked uh, Wittgenstein. So he was really into, um, you know, communication and symbols and meaning and how to uh, communicate or transfer ideas from one person to another. So he actually did have like a philosophical idea behind a lot of these uh, paintings and uh, concepts. It was, I thought it was kind of interesting that he was uh, really reading philosophy and stuff to get some of these ideas. Uh, but he comes across a really playful, you know, entertaining and kind of fun. So he uh, transmits it onto painting in like a uh, very uh, witty and fun kind of way. I thought that was interesting that he read... Uh, some philosophy, which I didn't know. I just had read that recently.
right, guys, that was the exhibit. I hope you guys enjoyed that. There was one other room that had pictures of his Jasper John's life. Here is the intro. Here's Merce Cunningham, right? And uh, John Cage they were friends with. And the other room had pictures of uh, ja Jasper John's here at work and in his home. And then it had a book of uh, his art, a retrospective, and some notes on his biography. So let me know in the comments below if I missed anything. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And check out my other videos. I have a video coming up of Rauschenberg, so uh, maybe check that out. And I will see you guys next time in my next video. Thanks for watching.